question is, the following table gives a firm's revenue R, given in thousands of dollars, as a function of the number of items Q which are sold. Give an estimate for the marginal revenue, i.e. the instantaneous rate of change of the revenue, when Q equals 1000. Um, let me just draw a really rough graph to get an idea of what's going on. I'm not actually going to do it accurately in the slightest. So here's R and here's Q because R is a function of Q. Now, kind of something roughly like this, and here's 1,000, and here's 1,100, and here's 900. What we want is an estimate of the slope right here. Okay? But we don't have um, the formula for the function. All we have is what the values are at various points. So we have to estimate it by looking at the average slope between various pieces of the function. Like this. So what I think I might do is figure out those two average slopes and then take their average and hopefully the true slope will be somewhere between them. So average rate from Q equals 900 to Q equals 1000. So that will be the rate is equal to R of 1000 minus R of 900 divided by 1000 minus 900. So the change in Y divided by the change in X. Now R of 1000 is 55, R of 900 is 52, and that's 100. So 55 minus 52 is 3, so that would be 0 0.03. Well, now let's do the average rate from Q equals 1000 to Q is equal to 1100. This time the rate is equal to R of 1100 minus R of 1000 divided, oops, sorry, 1000 divided by 100, 1100 minus 1000 and that's equal to well, 1100 gives me 59, 1000 gives me 55 divided by 100 so that's 4 on 100 so that's 0 0.04 this time Ooh. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, that's better. Okay, so the average of these two rates the average of these rates is 0 0.03 plus 0 0.04 all divided by 2 which comes to 0 0.035 so that's my estimate so marginal revenue at Q equals 1,000 is approximately 0 0.035 um, thousands of dollars so what have we got thousands of of dollars per item. 
i.e. that would be um, $35 per item. So we've figured out um, an estimate of the marginal revenue at Q equals 1000. So that's the end of the question.